Greetings Kingdom Fellowship, I'm Reverend Erica and Reverend Russ. Excited once again to share this time with you as we continue our journey through God's Word as we think about people in Scripture who experienced new beginnings. This is um, our scripture today is going to come from John chapter 4 verses 39 through 42. Again, it's John chapter 4 verses 39 through 42. I'm reading from the Amplified Version. It records it this way. Now many Samaritans from that city believed in him and trusted him as Savior because of because of what the woman said when she testified, he told me all the things that I have done. So when the Samaritans came to Jesus, they asked him to remain with them and he stayed there two days. Many more believed in him with a deep abiding trust because of his word, his personal message to them. And they told the woman, listen, we no longer believe just because of what you said. For now, we have heard him for ourselves and know with confident assurance that this one is truly the savior of all the world. I love this scripture. I love, love, love the story of Jesus with the woman at the well. And I encourage you to read John chapter four. I asked Rev, how many verses can I read? And he said, we have six minutes. I said, okay, fine. So I jumped ahead to where I wanted to kind of spend some time, but I'd love for you to take a look again at the entirety of John chapter four. It's great, great, great. But I appreciate this part where we are in verse 39, where it speaks about the benefit of the Samaritans having understood that Jesus is savior, right? They hear from this woman first. And then because this woman has this experience at the well, that's her new beginning, initially her own personal new beginning. But she meets Jesus and they have this conversation. And then she has another new beginning when she gets to go back to the village and share with them. Because of course, as we know, we think about all the scholars that have studied and done the research behind the story. They tell us that she was at the well at the hottest time of day, avoiding the other people because she had some trouble in her life. She had some drama in her life, right? So she was, you know, in this space by herself alone and Jesus finds her there. Jesus comes to meet her there. Scripture says he came that way like he had to. But the reality is Jesus is going the way he wants to go, right? He's Jesus. But he was intentional and purposeful to meet this woman where she was. And then it wasn't just about her blessing her, but it was also God's endeavor through Jesus' interaction with her to help her be a blessing to others. And so, again, we think about this new beginning. And, yes, part of it is personal because Jesus speaks directly to her about her past, her history, her relationship status, and all those things that they have this interaction about. But then there's also this communal blessing. This opportunity that this woman has to go and talk to Jesus on the people on behalf of the other people, but also to go back to tell the people rather about Jesus. She goes and she says, I met a man who told me everything about my life. He told me everything. The stuff I was trying to hide, he knew about that too. And so initially it says that the people were excited and ecstatic because of the word they heard from God. But then I love that the people go back to tell her in verse 42. It says, and they told the woman, we no longer believe just because of what you said. So they acknowledge that they initially believed on the you know on the word of her the strength of her word she said jesus was real and this was a thing but then it says for now we have heard him for ourselves and we know with confident assurance that this one is truly the savior of all the world beloved i hope that as god blesses you with new beginnings in this new year that you will be intentional certainly to take the pieces that are just for you because god is intentional to meet us where we are individually but then that you'll also go back and tell somebody right i think about that song or movie back in the day said run tell that Go run and tell that. Go run and tell how God is good. Go run and tell how God has blessed you with a new beginning. That somebody else might come to know him and then be able to elevate from a place of, I know God based on somebody's word, to now I know him for myself. That's great. I think I think one of the only things that I would, I would add is the fact that the woman uh, had her new beginning and her new beginning, like our new beginning, involves fruit. And so the new beginning produced fruit. There was people who said and people who saw her differently, mm -hmm. uh, but because they because they thought they knew her. And the mm -hmm. truth is, people don't really know yeah. you the way God knows you. Yeah. They don't know That's what good. God is able to do. But mm -hmm. because of her new beginning, other people were able to have a new beginning, which I'm deeming as fruit. Mm -hmm. And your new beginning is also going to have fruit. So lean in uh, to God's new beginning in your life because there are other people depending on your new beginning so that they can be able to produce this fruit. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let's pray. Good and gracious God, we thank you and praise you for the fruit 
that we've already seen. Yes, we're only a few days into the new year, but already if we stop and look, we can see fruit. And so we thank you, God, for this new beginning, this opportunity to share our faith with somebody else that they might experience a new beginning of their own. And then the ripples would continue, just like dominoes lined up together. There would be one who starts to roll and then it continues. We pray, God, that we, our faith would have that kind of activity, would have that kind of power. Our faith in you, that is. We pray that you would keep us grounded in your word, that we would be like this woman who experienced you in a very in a personal encounter. Yes. But then from that, there were the ripple effects of people coming to know you based on her word, but then that they would grow deeper in their faith as a result of meeting you more personally for themselves. Yes. This is our prayer. We make it by faith. In the strong name of your son, Jesus Christ, we pray. Our soul says amen and bless God. We absolutely hope that you will like and share and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow us on all the social media outlets and platforms. Share with your families and friends that these things exist so that they might continue to grow. But not just about the young adult lessons, right? Tell them about the children and the young adults. And the children, young adults, the um, nursery, everybody has something. We're trying to feed everybody's soul in this season. And so be intentional to share those things with others that they might continue to grow. As we seek to live kingdom. Focus.